And then there were four. It was semifinal Saturday for World Team Tennis at the Greenbrier. Top seeded Philadelphia was battling New York in the opener. And boy, was it a battle. The 12 and 2 Freedoms took center court against the 7 and 7 Empire to begin play on Saturday afternoon. But when there's a spot in the championship up for grabs, records go right out the window. For the New York underdogs, it also helped to have the dynamic duo of Jack Sock and Coco Vandeweghe, who scored a 5 1 mixed doubles victory to turn the tide of the match. Yeah, Jack and I have played a couple times in the Hotman Cup. Uh, we did two years of Hotman Cup and we had some good success there. So complement each other well and, and we're ready to battle so as long as he's got my back I got his back. In the fifth set the match was still within reach for Philly but Sock playing in his third set of the day dug out a tiebreak victory and in the process <laughs> sent his team to championship Sunday with a 22-18 win. I was trying to hold serve basically as best Destiny, as possible. Maddox I played Shan. into a normal tiebreak it was fine because I knew I'd have a chance to serve out the match in a normal game after so um, kind of executed the gameplay well, I was able to get through the, the time. He played breaker. a season of tennis um, at the yeah, University of Virginia. Yeah, I'm super happy to be on the court now after it's a hot day. Hit the Despite the scorching temperatures and nearly three hours of court time, the Empire's energy pushed them to the finish line, and it starts with their coach. To me, I, I feel a great responsibility to empower them to make sure that we have fun all the time, win or lose. We lost to Philadelphia at the end of the regular season just a couple of days ago, and I said, listen, as long as we're having fun, we put pressure on them. Yeah, the Freedoms finished their spectacular season with a record of 12 and 3. And after that one, semifinal number two saw a clash between the Chicago Smash and the Orlando Storm. This match, not as close as the first. The Storm managed to take just one set. That would have been women's singles in a tie break. The rest of the match was all Smash. They dominated, snatching a 24 to 13 victory. That included a pair of 5-1 set victories in both men's doubles and singles. So tomorrow's championship looks like this. The three and four seats, how about that? Chicago and New York. Tennis starts at high noon. Make sure to tune in tomorrow night at 6. I'll have a complete recap of that title showdown.